Hey, Danny, I want my vlog. Well, the 08 Dodge Caliber is back. Um, my daughter hit a uh, fawn last night and uh, slammed it slammed it slammed the front part of the grill into the radiator and uh, she didn't notice it was over temping on the way home last night but she noticed that it was it gave a oh it gave a over temping signal to her going downtown today so we got her to pull over and park it and uh, I went down and uh, rescued it and to throw a gallon antifreeze in it and I got a little more than halfway home and it started to, it got to 75 percent so I pulled over added more antifreeze and it's just pouring it's just pouring out pretty pretty good but uh, this is what I got right now so we're gonna check it out and see what we got for a hole in the radiator <laughs> okay I just put pulled the top cover off of here fan top oh. fan cover um, those are ten. Uh, those are tens. These are the outside bolts. These are the center bolts. And then um, I went ahead and I loosen. You got to loosen these up. These are T T20s. And then I'm uh, looking down here. It got the uh, um, condenser. Uh, slam that in there. But I think what happened is because it was able to hit the radiator. Radiator's only got one core, so it'll be easy to deal with. But from what I'm looking at in the back side, from the back side, I think the ra it slammed it into the ra uh, fan. And you can see down in there, maybe. I was right up against it. And uh, it's kind of wet coming across the top of it. So I'm thinking it slammed it into the radiator fan and uh that did the that did the damage so what i'm going to do right now is i'm trying to pull this thing back a little bit i'm going to pull pull the the center center piece out and i'll have access to the to the uh, ac condenser and then you got two 10 millibolt millibolt mill, millimeter bolts and that'll pull your your holding piece um you gotta pop these, get the fan. See if I can get the fan out of the way, it'll help. Alright, I'm to this point. Uh, what I needed to do is get the center center brace out. Where a lot of vehicles, this is welded in there, you can't do anything with it. Um, this is held by two, ten, uh, two 13s and a 10. And there they are. You got them on both sides. Then you got your number 10s, which are holding your hood hood latch down. And then uh, you've got a little little plate here um, on the bottom here. It's got a uh, you squeeze it, you squeeze it, and it'll come out. Or if you want, you can probably get your wrench in there and undo that 10 as well. So now that I got this bar out of the way. Now I'm right here. Now the now I got free access to everything. I can pull the radiator out. I can pull the uh, fan out, and uh, we can go from there. All right. Next, I got down there. I'm popping all the little all the clips off the ra uh, off the radiator fan system here, and then just connect the fan. And we'll see how hard it is to raise that out of there. All right, getting a little closer here. I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and pull the fan out. So I can pull the, the radi top radiator hose out of the way. Use my nice little clamp, clamp pliers. And then uh, we got this disconnected. Down here. Pry the, pry the uh, cable out of there. Um, these here, I just noticed, they're actually, uh, you gotta push them out because they're locking, they're locking on the little clips that hold the, hold it in. Hopefully there isn't one down below. 
Hopefully that's just in the slot down there. Top ones are what are what are locked in. Okay, right now the radiator, the fan is stuck. Um, you see down there where it's it's pushing right against that. Um, but on this side you got your uh, got your block here for your uh, AC. So I'm thinking I may have to loosen that nut. You see that bolt? Is that bolt nut right there? Right there. Um, that might move that over just a little bit. What's happened is the radiator is crimped, is kinked. So it's pushing in. Um, it's pushing in on this and uh, squeezing against the fan. Yeah, just make sure all your, your cable plugs are undone. That, that wasn't helping me any. And then I got one more plug here for the second fan. And there we are. And my fingers in the way. All right. So now we have one fan out of the way. Uh, nice and covered with antifreeze. Uh, yep. You see what happened? This jammed into the radiator, and because it's not flush, it probably chewed a hole. Because she's probably using AC. So she's using AC. Yep, see you got Yep, ate a hole right in it. Yep, yep, yep. Unfortunately, I don't know. Okay. Oh, my nice and wet. See the? See the fluid? So, yep, that's exactly what happened. Your, uh, the radiator. Once the, once the radiator got slammed back against the fan, the uh, fan. Fan nut, cut a hole right in the radiator. So this is what, and uh, boys and girls, this was only a doe. I mean, this was only a fawn. Um, that's all it hit. If she had hit a full-size deer, it would have totaled the whole front, most likely. Any free uh, radiator, uh, any freeze, and everything. Oh man, okay, so you're ready. So that's where we're at. I've got to separate, I'll have to separate the core here from the radiator. And then loosen that and uh, we'll go from there. So now I gotta go down to, gotta go down to Wilbert's and do the exact same thing. And get that that out of there. I know there's a, quite a few of them down there that don't have the fenders on them, and this is just sitting right up. So anyway, that's where I'm at right now. Um, and that's how you pull the. <laughs> that's how you troubleshoot what happened to a uh, leaking radiator from a fawn from a fawn hit. Hey, Danny, I'm on my vlog. Continuation of repairing my my daughter's caliber, and uh, see what I got right here. I got a caliber, same same color as her, same. It's an eight. Yep, same vehicle. And uh, uh, and guess what's exposed? <laughs> I take anything to pull this apart. Awesome. Okay, this is where I'm at. Um, I just undid the radiator hose. Got all your little harness clips out of the way. The radiator was already cut. I cut this. Um, so, because uh, you're just not going to get get that released. Um, these were exposed right there where I could get them. Um, so right now I'm going to pull the fan off of here because I don't need it. Um, and then uh, uh, we should be good. Right here, you got these little, this little sucker here, you got to lift up so it'll slide out. These are just sitting down in there. Um, this one here, you got 
little, again, a little pry on that one. So uh, I just got to undo the, not really worried about it. Yeah, I guess I could pull that real quick. These, these are real simple, just push out and then pull out. Now the hook here. I'm helping somebody out because they need a fan. <laughs> there it is. Hell, you could take that home and plug it in to a 12 volt battery. You got dual fans. Unfortunately, they're going the wrong way. They're sucking instead of blowing. All right. Looks in pretty good shape. I'm taking this too. Okay, so. And that's what you got. She's out. Can leave my screws behind. Um, you could actually take you can actually take this motor pretty much out straight through. Um, you can just pop the pop the bolts on the front part of the bumper and then just connect the motor and just pull it out. You don't have to do a underneath, drop it underneath and out. I'm curious about the uh because some some vehicles this is all solid you can't you can't come straight out the front unless you cut the front off of it so um i'm curious about the nitro because i'm going to be doing that change swapping that motor out here soon so there we are all right i gotta get the uh fan off of here and then uh, we're out of here all right we done it wilberts um i got her radiator core for 40 bucks uh, AC condenser uh, if if I need it it was 20 bucks and core charge on this five uh, core charge on the radiator is six um, my muffler was nine with a core charge of two exhaust resonator was three bucks <laughs> with a cord charge of two dollars um so i'm walking out of here um it uh with tax 93 bucks so um that combination with the muffler system there would have cost me 139 dollars online uh it's almost brand new um I, I i just looked under there like yeah i'm taking that um so uh i'm taking i, I I got the condenser just in case. Um, it's universal on the uh, on the caliber and on the uh, uh, compass. So either way, and 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 the thing is with the condenser, it's right out front. Um, it's in front of the radiator, so it takes it takes all your hits from rocks and stuff like that. So um, right now her AC is working perfectly. Um, hopefully I don't screw that condenser up trying to get that radiator out of there because it's unfortunately it's you know it's um, mushroomed inside the radiator so it's not good but anyway uh, that's where we're at okay we're back and uh, this is what we got right now I'm gonna get the radiator out it's still stuck to the condenser so and as you can see how the condenser's got a nice push um, concave into the radiator so uh, I gotta figure out how to do that there's no problem down there I didn't have the freaking fenders still on here um, so um, my problem is I got two bolts down below there or yeah one on each side that won't let go the minute I do that I think I can I'll be able to uh, separate this with no problem. Okay, because as we can see, with the with the new used one, it's right here. Got that one there, and that one there, and those should come loose. The only problem is on this one, they are rusted. They are rusted down to another size. 
see right down there. I can get it off of there. Uh, get that out of there. That's all we need to do.